everybody, homeschooling mama Denise Sarave here. Um, I wanted to take a minute to kind of, I guess, unbox, you can say, this awesome looking weather science kit. Um, this is actually going to be a project that the girls and I are going to be working on uh, today. And I'm also going to post a YouTube video later of the, of the experiments as we're doing them and the outcomes, okay? And see how the girls like it. So this here, I purchased off Amazon. I buy pretty much like 85% of my stuff off Amazon. Let's face it, Amazon has everything. Do you guys like Amazon? Do you purchase your stuff off Amazon? What are some sciencey things that you purchased off Amazon recently that you really liked? Um, go ahead and comment below or or message me um so anyway this is by green science um it's a 4m product uh kids lab fun science products so it's green science water science um it has the red dot design award winner for 2015 which is cool uh, i didn't buy this in 2015 i bought purchased this later <laughs> uh let's see so what this will do is it will allow you to experiment with static electricity that causes lightning make clouds in your palm i mean how cool is that for the kids to make lightning and clouds in your palm build a desktop water cycle model watch air currents that produce wind and study the greenhouse effect and acid rain. I know that sounds a little creepy and scary, but we'll see what happens there. Uh, these exciting activities will help you understand how our weather works. And this actually is gonna go along with the curriculum that we're doing right now. Uh, my oldest, she is doing Moving Beyond the Page and I'm gonna do a, a review on that when we're completely done with it. She's doing the science portion of it and it's weather and climate. So when I purchased this, actually we weren't even doing moving beyond the page, we were doing Apology of Science. But the Apology of Science that we were doing didn't incorporate science and weather, so I'm like, okay, well, we'll just wait. Um, my middle daughter, she is doing Bookshark, and it's really neat. And it, hap and it so happens that what my middle child is learning, which is climate and weather and wind and snow, it's actually all... <laughs> correlating with my oldest daughter, who is also learning about the same things. Uh, so I'm like, oh, how perfect is that? So we'll just do it together. So you're going to see them do it together. Uh, my little one is going to do the same thing as well. She, she likes to just, you know, be in on everything and why not? Uh, she can learn. She's, she's going to be in TK already. What grades are your kids in? My oldest is going into eighth. My middle, she's going into third. And I mentioned already, my littlest is going into TK. Didn't the years pass by fast for you? It fast, passed by so fast for us. But um, anyway, let's look at the back here. So this is showing you everything that you're going to be able to do. Okay. And it comes with pretty much everything that you need. Uh, the only thing that's not uh, given to you that you have to provide, um, it's a glass, potting soil, some beans, a pencil, a plastic bottle, a desk lamp in case you live in an area there's no where there's no sunshine, I guess, um, and an alcoholic drink. I don't know what that's all about. I'm thinking it may have to do with maybe the acid rain or something and pH levels, but... We'll see, we'll see. And hopefully I have an alcoholic drink, I don't know. But I'll have to look and see. If not, then I guess I have to go to the store and purchase it. And then, of course, it says adult supervision is needed, especially I would think with those alcohol, with that alcoholic drink. Um, so anyway, the contents, you get one balloon, one cloud making pump, which it looks like that's what that is, two thermometers, two thermometer holders, one thermometer arm, one pencil stand, one spiral template, one cloud shape cover, one mountain shape, one pimpled stopper, one paper, a pH indicator color chart, and it says it's a punch bot. It's a, attached to this, which is pretty cool. Um, and detailed and run set of detailed instructions with fun facts. So let's open it and see 
Ah, okay. So here is the pH uh, thermometer that they were talking about. So it's a punch out. So you just take it out here. I'm not gonna punch it out yet. I'll let the girls do that. So let's open it up. I already took the, the pre-covered plastic off just so it's quicker. Um, so it looks like everything but what I mentioned before is included in here. So you have your fun and detailed instructions. <laughs> you have the paper. I'm not sure what that's going to be for. I don't know if it's maybe for the pH balance because it has the same colors as that. I don't know. I've never uh, used this before. And it has a balloon. I'm not sure. It, I think this is to make clouds because if you look at it, it kind of has little shapes. Or maybe it's to the right. I don't know. Um... And then this, I'm assuming this is for the seeds because I think it said you need to have some beans. So we must be sprouting stuff, sprouting beans. And then here's that cloud pumper. And then here are the thermometers and the thermometer holder. Um, let's see. Yeah, thermometer and thermometer holders. So it looks interesting. It looks fun. We're going to go ahead and get this show on the road and do our science experiments because today is Friday. So Friday, we're, we're not lax on school on Friday per se, but I do use Fridays as like a catch-up day because um, Monday through Thursday, we're really busy with every with school. So I use Fridays as, like I said, a catch-up day, a science experiment day, unless it's a sci science experiment that they have to do that day for their lesson, we'll do it then. Um, we'll do our arts and crafts. We'll do music on Friday. Um, subscription boxes on Friday, but since it's going to be summertime, I'll probably do it more than just on Friday to give the kids something to do. I mean, we homeschool all year round. I mentioned in my previous video, we do homeschool for six weeks. We take the seventh week off. We do it again, another six weeks, and then we take that seventh week off. So it's a continuous rotation, which is good. Because I notice it, it can take about six weeks to finish like an entire unit because I like to go into to detail and I like to have lots of projects and supplemental work to go hand in hand. So it really, whatever we're learning about, really cements in their mind. Um, what else was I going to say? I forgot. So yeah, pretty much um, that's it. That's what I have. That's what we're going to be doing today, our weather science. We're going to try to do all of this today <laughs> and I will post the videos on it. So thank you again for tuning in and I will find the link for this product on Amazon and so that way you can get the price for it too. I can't remember. I think it wasn't very expensive. I know it was under $20. I want to say it was maybe in the 10 to 12, maybe $15 range, but honestly, I don't even think it was that expensive. Um, I've bought other farm products before, and they're relatively affordable. Uh, we're a homeschool family on one income. I, um, I only work during part of the season because I'm... Um, a tax professional so I do taxes during tax season and then I also do some taxes off tax season of course you know when we have extensions or business accounts so pretty much we're one we're a one income family except for January through April and then a few sporadic months through there so anything that I get you know I try to get good quality stuff um, but it also can't be super duper expensive because I also like to try to have some money set aside for the girls to do field trips and the girls to um, 
just experience classes and we do like museum dates and that's another thing I'm gonna try to start doing is I'm gonna try to start um, videotaping us um, like at museums and stuff when we do our learning day and how do you guys do it when you do field trips do you have your kids write a report or do you have them like if they're younger do you have them like dictate uh, a sentence to you or you know a few sentences and you write it out for them or do you just have them draw a picture or like make a painting or something of what they liked at the museum or at the zoo or if you do like an amusement park and you're learning about physics and machines do you have them uh, write up you know a little summary what do you have them do um, you can always comment below with what you do uh, comment below with any fun sciencey things that you do with your kids or that you've purchased and that have worked well um, so yeah Go ahead and message message me too if you don't want to post a comment because I know uh, YouTube has been eliminating a lot of comments on many different people's websites or YouTube pages. I also have a Facebook page and it's Homeschooling Mama Denitza Rave and I will also link that uh, down below. So please, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe my page. I'm gonna const I'm gonna try to be um, conscientious of of postings. I want to try to post at least once or twice a week some good relevant information. I'm gonna try to start doing read alouds, uh, many different things. And off topic, but eventually I'm gonna be opening up a YouTube channel for my tax business. <laughs> so eventually I'll link that as well. So thank you so much. It was so nice speaking to all of you today. Feel free, like I said, to subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. I will talk to you guys soon and I will be posting the video of the girls doing the um, green science, weather science experiments. Thanks.